Are you a fan of old school styled arcade games like Galaga? If you answered yes, then check out my review of Pixelbots Extreme coming up next on Mumbles. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Mumbles. In today's episode of Mumbles, I'm reviewing this. This, my friends, is Pixelbot Extreme. Guys, this is a little arcade game, kind of Galaga-like in its feel, and it's a really cool little game that just recently launched for the PlayStation 4. But is it a good game or not? I'm about to tell you. But guys, first things first, I do have to ask you guys, please, 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 if you have not already, please do subscribe to the channel, ring the little notification bell, and drop a like on the video. Guys, it helps the channel grow, and just know how much I appreciate it. Guys, now let's jump into the basic information about Pixelbot Extreme. Guys, first things first, I do have to say I gave this product a 6 out of 10 on our Mumbles review. Why did I give it that score? You're going to have to watch to the end to find out. But guys, now we're going to talk about the general information. First things first, guys, this game can be picked up for a price of $9.99 and it is available on Steam and PlayStation 4. Now guys, the description for this product reads, Pixelbot Extreme combines the best of side scroll shoot 'em up with an innovative color-based tracking system along with pixelated graphics, fantastic sound effects, and a soundtrack by the lo-fi band Phono Trash that harken back to the early days of hardcore 80s arcade games. Play as the rocket-powered Pixelbot as you shoot, fly, and dodge your way through 25 handcrafted levels while collecting orbs, weapons, and unlocking extreme challenges. Shoot, die, respawn, and more importantly, never give up. Features, color-coded chaos. Think fast to destroy four types of color-coded targets, red, green, blue, and pink, using the matching colored rockets to pick apart enemies' defenses. Multiple difficulty modes. Choose between easy, normal, and hard, or push your skills to the absolute limit with the extreme challenge level. Co-op mode. Join forces with your friend, friends in couch co-op mode as you split up the colors for destroying the four types of color-coded targets using Pixelbot's matching colored rockets. Guys, now that I got through all that, in simple terms, this is a galaga styled 2D side-scrolling shooter. As you move through and fly through this, you have to shoot different enemies, dodge obstacles, and try your best not to die. That's what it is in simple terms. Guys, now let's talk about the graphics, the soundtrack, and the controls. First got off guys, the graphics in this game, this game has 2D graphics and they're decent, they're solid, but they're nothing fancy that we haven't seen before. I would just say they're just okay graphics. Soundtrack wise, I know they taunt, they, they tout having Photo Trash do the soundtrack, but in my opinion it's just gaming elevator music. The 80s style soundtracks, yeah they were cool, yeah they were fun, but let's be serious here. There's better stuff, there's better soundtracks that have been made for games today over stuff that used to be. And for a game like this, I feel like there's better choices. Now guys, we're going to talk about the controls, and the controls in this game are very easy to understand. They're, they're very easy to master. It's basically just moving your character up and down and using the various buttons to shoot the different colored targets. It's that simple. So control-wise, this game plays perfectly. Now let's talk about the gameplay. Guys, the gameplay in this game, the best way I can describe it, again, Saying it again, it is a Galaga style side shoot, scrolling shooter. Gameplay wise, you will have to dodge obstacles, destroy enemies, and make sure to shoot colored enemies with the right colored bullets. As much as this is a Galaga game though, it is also very much a thinking, hardcore game. Instead of just throwing wave of, after wave of enemies at you and having you hold one or two buttons to shoot them, you actually have to think about shooting the correct color at the correct enemies. If you do not, they will not be destroyed and you will die if you run into them. So this creates very much the whole thinking aspect to this game. It is almost kind of puzzle-ish in the way that it does this because you have to figure out if I shoot this one with this color, how am I going to get to that one before I die? So it very much lends itself to being a thinking game. In addition to that, you also have the other obstacles that you have to dodge. Not everything in this game can be destroyed which in itself makes this game very, very stressful because as you're going through it, not only are you having to think about what am I shooting, but you're having to think about, I got to dodge this, I got to get under that, I got to do this, I got to do that. And it just creates a game that is very, very chaotic and hard to play. Whether it's flying into something and dying or getting stuck on something, there are multiple ways you can die in this game, and this game literally is not for the faint of heart. So guys, that pretty much sums up the gameplay section. Now we're going to talk about the cons for this game. The first con that I have is that this game is not anything we haven't seen before. We've all seen these Galaga type side scrolling shooter type games. They're nothing that's all really that special. I'm not saying they're not fun. I'm just saying it's nothing that we haven't seen before. So take that for what you will, but there it is. Now guys, the second con is actually something that they tout in this game. And that is the fact that it doesn't really have a story. This game starts out very weird 
and it doesn't really explain itself. Now I know that's by design and some people will be fine with that, but I'm the kind of person that if you put just a little something in, just, just a little, you know, oh, Pixabot's trying to save his world or Pixabot's doing this, Pixabot's doing that. It just kind of connects me to the character a little bit more. And that game, this game does not have that. I'm not gonna knock the score for that, but take that for what you will. It's a con nonetheless in my book. So now guys, now we're gonna talk about why I gave this product a six out of 10 on our Mumbles group. Guys, we've all seen some of the great games of this year. We've seen the, the, the Paper Mars. We've seen the Resident Evils. We've seen all these cool games that have come out and we've seen games that are to come out yet that are gonna be amazing. And then we have Pixelbots Extreme. Guys, I gave this product a six out of 10 and I'll tell you why. It's just nothing we haven't seen before. It's not the difficulty that makes me rate it a six out of 10. It's not the soundtrack. It's not any, it's not the lack of story. It's not any of that stuff. It's just the fact that it's one of those games that I've seen before, I've played before. It'll entertain me for, you know, 30 minutes and then it's like, I'm gonna go play some Overwatch or something. Cause it just is what it is. So in that regard, that's why this game is getting a six out of 10. Yes, I will give the creator props and saying they did change things up from level to level, which is really, really cool. It's not just, you know, doing the same thing over and over again. Each level adds a different complexity or different thing to it to make it unique. But it's just not enough to make me say, oh yeah, this is a seven or eight game. It's just a six game, guys. It's just a six game nothing we haven't seen before so guys this has been my review of pixelbots extreme i hope you guys all enjoyed this let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are maybe you think uh, i don't know what i'm talking about this is a 10 out of 10 game maybe you think i've been too generous and it should be a 1 out of 10 game i don't know let me know your thoughts in the comments below i love to hear from you guys i love to hear what your thoughts are and yeah guys this has been my review of pixelbots extreme i hope you guys all enjoyed it please smack that subscribe button smack the like button smack all those buttons now see you guys all in the next video bye everyone take care